like an ice princess, ice queen look. I don't really know what to call this look. I'm just kind of winging it. But today I'm going to go into the Morphe by Kathleen Lights palette. And I'm going to start out with this little like orangey color right here. And I'm using a Ipsy L34 Blend Beauty brush. And I got this in my Ipsy bag one time. And I'm just taking that color and blending this into my crease. And of course, as you can tell, I already have foundation and bronzer blush on just because that part is really simple and most of you guys know how to do that. So I skipped that part and went ahead and did that. And I did my brows. And so I'm just blending this color into my crease, making sure it's really blended out. All right, so as my next transition color, I'm going in with the same brush and I'm picking up that like pinkish color. It's like a pinkish purple color. And I'm just blending this pretty much in the same areas in my crease. Alright, so now I'm taking the same color and I'm just putting that on the like outer part of my eyes. And I'm going to slowly like build up this color, but it doesn't have to be too dramatic. But I really want everything to look nice and blended and pretty smoked out. Alright, so I'm taking the Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush and I'm taking the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and I'm going to go in with this red color and it is called Man Eater and just pretty much do the same thing as I was doing before before I use the darker red color and just blending out this red color pretty pretty high up making sure everything is blended and on the outer part right here just kind of making it like a circle So I'm taking this brush from Morphe and it is part of their rose gold collection and I don't know the name of this brush but it is my favorite brush and I'm taking this and I'm going to be picking up the Kathleen Lights Morphe palette again and I'm going to go in with the darker red color with this and I'm using this brush just to really define this red but not add it too high up if that makes any sense. <laughs> in with that Sigma blending brush and blending everything out. So I just went in with my IT Cosmetics gel liner and put this in my waterline and now I'm going to move on to the bottom part of my eyes. So I'm going to go in back with that same brush in that same red color right here and just pretty much just smudge this under my water or under my lower lashes. So I'm going in with this like really small blending brush and I'm going to go in with the black color in the palette and just kind of smudge this pretty much just on the outer part of my lower lashes. Alright, now back to the top part of my eyes. I'm going to take this Oprah highlighter in Rodeo Drive and I'm just going to put this on my finger and I really don't know how this is going to work. I just thought the gold color in this was pretty and I'm going to put this on my lid. to reach areas I'm gonna go in with this like pointed brush pick up the color and just pretty much put that on like the inner corner and the crease area <laughs> So I think that 
highlighter looks like really good and works really good as an eyeshadow but I'm just gonna go back in with that red color right there and just blend out all the harsh part of that highlighter <laughs> So now I'm going in with this NYX Studio Liquid Liner and I'm going to be putting this and this is like a gold color and I'm going to be like pretty much just like carving out my brow bone area with this. And now back in with the highlighter and that small little brush we used, I'm just going to go under it. Alright, so before we move on to all the crazy dramatic part, I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with this Project Beauty setting spray. And this setting spray, like, it's the only setting spray I have right now, but it spits out like, like a camel spits out. It's really hard to put on your face and it pretty much soaks your face so that's pretty much the only thing I don't like about it but I do like how it wears throughout the day so I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my face with this <laughs> alright so after I spray my face I just like to let it dry but not fully dry all the way before I put my highlighter on just because when I spray my face before using highlighter it just like helps the highlighter stick and look more beaming than it normally does so <laughs> Alright, so now I'm just picking up my Morphe M510 brush, and this is my favorite brush to highlight with. And now for my favorite highlighter ever in the world, I'm using my Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Golden Lights. And this highlighter is like super, super cheap, and I've already hit pan on it, and I have like three of these. And I just love it, so I'm going to pretty much just try to make my face look really glowy and golden, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to be adding a lot of highlight more than I normally would just to make everything a little bit more dramatic and I like to put it on my cheeks and I like to do like a C right here just because when the light hits it it looks really good and then I like to put it of course on my nose chin forehead and all that fun stuff <laughs> So now I'm going back in with that little small brush we used and picking up this highlighter. And I'm going to be picking up this highlighter and spraying my brush and putting this on my inner corner. And I'm just going to add a little bit more on the brow bone just because this highlighter is a lot more dramatic than the other one. Alright, so I suck at putting on lashes, so just ignore how they're put on because they're kind of falling off. But anyways, I'm going to move on to the rest of the face. So my parents bought me this like little like stack of four different glitters. So we're going to be using the bottom one today. And I was super excited about this. This is, came in like the Halloween section. And it's gold foil. So I'm going to be pretty much just using like a NYX glitter glue and sticking this on different parts of my face. And I'm going to be putting this on my eyes as well. Alright, so I'm just taking my NYX glitter glue and I'm going to be donning this on like different parts of my face if it will come out. Oh, there we go. Of course. So I'm going to be putting this on like my forehead and dotting it on different parts of my face. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go back in with this NYX gold liner. And I'm going to start putting like little dots on my eyes and then maybe possibly putting foil on them. Let's see how I feel. and on my forehead as well and I tried to make like little triangles and it didn't really work out that much but anyways I was inspired by this photo and I found this on Pinterest 
and I don't remember the name of this girl, but I do have her on Instagram somewhere, so I'm going to try to find her and link all her information down below. And if not, please let me know if you know who this is and leave it in the comments so I can make sure to tag her in all my photos for inspiration pics. All right, so with this little gold, I'm just going to go ahead and like put like small little dots, you know, just kind of a of gold right here on the forehead so everything blends out. Alright, so on this little brush that's cleaned off, I'm going to go ahead and go into this liquid lipstick from Kylie in the color Lord and just kind of put it around as well just to kind of blend some gold up on this forehead area. <laughs> So I went ahead and wiped off all the darker color on this brush and I'm going to go in with this red color and I'm just going to kind of put like some little triangles right here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go in with this little Halloween kit that I'm pretty sure my parents got from Walmart. They just like brought me all this Halloween stuff just to try out and use. So I'm going to be taking the blood in it. I might take this blood or I might use this one. I'm not really sure which one is better because this one says bloody scab and this one looks hard as hell to use. So we shall see. All right, so I think I'm going to go in with this one that says bloody scab on it just because it looks like a little bit easier to apply. So I am just opening this up. Oh god, I dropped it everywhere. I'm going to take this like little angled brush from Murphy, the B11 brush. And I'm right where I just put some of those like little triangle parts on my eyes. I'm gonna just draw basically like some lines down. Alright, so while I'm at it, I'm just gonna like smudge this under my eyes a little bit just to give it a little bit more of a bloody effect but I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with that red color right here and I'm just gonna very lightly kind of smudge this around my lips crazy like I just got like stung by a bee or something but I'm gonna be taking the color Kylie Cosmetics in Mary lip liner and just outlining my actual lip area <laughs> So I'm pretty sure this is like the first time I ever used this lip liner and it sucks but I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Cosmetics Coco Collection in Gorge and it's just a red lipstick and I guess I only have like Kylie Cosmetics red lipsticks because I can't find the perfect red but I pretty much have like every color in her collection so of course just I'm, I'm just gonna put this on my lips <laughs> this metallic metal matte lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics in the color Lord and I'm just gonna be putting this like on the middle parts of my lips and just kind of blending everything out <laughs> Instead of going in with that blood capsule, I'm just going to go in with the lipstick we just used and pick it up on that same like lined angled brush and just kind of darken up where we just put some of that blood at just to make it a little bit more maybe realistic I should say. So now I'm going to go back in with the Bloody Scab Blood 
and with that angled brush and I'm just gonna draw some blood down my neck and who knows how this is gonna look because I really don't know I'm just gonna put some lines of blood down my neck and then I'm gonna darken it up with that lipstick thing on I think that's how it goes on I don't really fucking know probably gonna put it a little bit right here on the foil all right so that is the completed look thank you guys so much for watching I really loved creating this look it was super easy and super fun to create so if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video Bye. 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 Bye.